यूथ इज समथिंग वेयर यू काइंड ऑफ आर लिटिल टेफलॉन कोटेड ना थोड़ा मतलब फिर बना लेंगे तो मैं मल्टी मिलियन में बन गया था इन माई ट्वेंट मतलब गाड़ी ऑर्डर हो गई थी स्पोर्ट्स कार फरारी ये वो सब हो गया था हमारे स्टेडियम में हम पार्टीज करते थे तो इस नेक्स्ट लेवल कैसे करता है इसे वो भेज रहा है कार्स कॉल सेंटर की तरफ so i started calling his consent babajit a uh, random so half the time he used to only answer the phone oh humne bhi kiya shuru mein hi karna padta hai koi tha hi nahi paise hi nahi the nobody was speaking in money correct i just found that he was very passionate determined or problem samajh mein aa gaya to i said dal sakte hai 20 30 lakh rupaye really but so the only question i have is this why is there only one zara in the world mere ko ye baat samajh mein nahi aati ab tak to log samajh gaye honge na bhai kya karta hai wo kitna kya hai space is very interesting टॉप ऑन्टरप्रोर्स इन दर्ल्ड विल बी इंडियन बट उनके अलावा एक और इंडिया दिख रहा है जहां मुझे थोड़ा डर लगता है वेरी हैप्पी विद वेरी मेड योकर अन इवेंटफुल लाइफ स्क्रोलिंग थ्रू सोशल मीडिया ऑल डे एंड जस्ट अडिक्टेड टू ये बस यही करते हैं और निठलने समथिंग शुड नॉट चेंज मैं मैं देश के रिश्ते संभालता हूँ आप उनके बाल संभाल हाई वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ द बाबू शॉप आई एम थ्रिल्ड to introduce you to our new guest someone who saw markets evolve long before they did has spent a lot of time outside the country in the country uh being a founder being an operator being an investor and now being in the public eye as an investor and all of you probably know him anupam welcome to the barber shop so my name is shantanu i am originally from pune um uh grew up in the us my parents were actually you grew up in the us yeah. i lived there for almost 10 years when when was this? This was uh, mid nineties. Okay. Until two thousand and three, four. Nice. So I was there from. I mean, I was born there oh. in eighty seven. Then I was there till ninety six. My Achha. fourth standard. So dad was part of the early team of TCS that set up the US offices. Oh so yeah. I got married in eighty one. Till ninety six, he was like set up Dallas and set up Boston and like. And so then you came back. Then. My grandfather's had passed away early, so my grandmother's was single and retired. So mom died in '96. Actually, made a very counter decision at that time to move back to India, which a lot of their Indian friends did not. Yeah, '96 was too early. People were just well, staying there. Yeah, yeah. People and were I, all looking to. Yeah. I actually moved there just around that time, a couple of years before that. And how old were you then? I was in my early twenties. Ah, so you were for this for a job? No, I went actually. Yeah, I was just twenty. I went to finish my education and then I started working. Ah. So I was I was in school and parents thought that if they don't bring us back now, they'll never be able to bring us back as teenagers. My brother and I. So they said, "Abhi nikalta hai." And dad became the CEO of Tech Mahindra in '96. Acha. Which at that time was a very small Mahindra Group IT company. Yeah. Which was only one client, British IT? Telecom. Yeah. Digital. So he was CEO from '96 to 2002, just before that IPO. And then he started up his own company in 2003 in California at the age of 50. Wow! Yeah. What kind of? Company? It's called. He moved back. No, no. He moved. He moved back. He set up the engineering team in Pune. And then you never went back to the. No, US. no. I was in touch eleven. After so the fourth, you never. No, no, no. We, so you just so had your back formative years were there. Yeah. And then you came back. Yeah. Pune mainly. Yeah. Um, real yeah. formative years of Pune. And then dad actually had the engineering team in Pune and the business in the US. So would right. So he would Pune. go back. We anchored in Pune. And my engineering from Nagpur and IT Nagpur business school from I am Lucknow. Uh-huh. Uh, very cookie cutter life. Right uh, after engineering, or you? Yeah, right after. I didn't work in. Two years, come up. Two years, hostel kya banana. Basically, uh, I pl- basically played football and made really close friends, which today I think is one of the best uses of college life. College life. Uh, then I joined McKinsey in 2011 as a young 23 year old in Bombay, and served amazing clients. Had got amazing mentors. I thought that I'll be in McKinsey for the rest of my life. Ah. Oh. And then 2016, I my general mantra in life has been to copy. Seniors were damn smart. Mm. So, some people engineering ke exam dete the, jo college mein mm. cricket khelte the, jo achhe bache the, aur liye karenge. Then mm. engineering mein jo achhe bache the, wo cat likhte the, aur liye let's do that. That's quite the opposite to me. My general inclination has been to copy the biggest badmash. Because jo sabse zada badmashi karta hai. Where did you grow? <laughs> where, where did you grow? I grew up here in Bombay. Bombay, Bombay. Bombay. Okay. I used to get into a lot of trouble as a kid because mm. I, until about thirteen or so, I was very good actually. I used to be like number, you know, first time I come here, I ain't in the game. But number two, number three, I was there. A decent, good in education. Didn't need to study a lot. Thoda baar padliya, so I used to do well. Uh. Grasping ability was very high. But 
देन एट थर्टीन आई कैन आई गेस आई डिस्कवर्ड हॉर्मोन्स किटन क्या हुआ पता नहीं बट स्टार्ट गेन टू लॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रबल लॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रबल काइंड ऑफ ट्रबल ऑल यू नो बदमाशी फाइट्स गर्ल्स मतलब जो भी आप सोच लो एक्सीडेंट्स बाइक्स everything bad to worse like my mom to, uh, my mom thought i'll end up behind bars and even i thought that i became the black sheep sort of of the family door door to sab rishtedar kehte the apne bachcho ko you know they say don't hang out with this cousin <laughs> so i was that guy right but uh, what kind of family like, what did your parents do and my, so interestingly uh, i think maybe that had something to do with it because yeah. my father uh, lost his father when he was very young 15 saal ke the and he had three brothers and four sisters to take care of so yeah. you the oldest yeah and they had no money uh, so he he had a job wo 500 rupees milte the mahine mein wo time pe in, in kolkata he took up a job mm-hmm. and he used to send money back home to the village uh fir wo dheere dheere karke his job moved to bombay he started making a little more and he became indispensable to the company where was he working okay? at a textile company okay and you know the typical banya type of wow. businesses to manufacturing and trading and then the, he said look i'm going to leave so they said you know what we'll offer you a partnership because they couldn't imagine work without him mm. so he said great whatever money he had saved up he set up his brothers mm. he said hamari do company ho jayegi brothers will run that company i'll continue working with you and so he started doing very well over time he built couple of factories and then i guess by that time i was hitting my teens okay and by then we had some means right Good before time. that as kids वोट टाइम पता नहीं चलता था बट हम यानी हजार स्क्वायर फुट के घर में बीस लोग रहते थे राइट लोग डाइनिंग टेबल के ऊपर सोए डाइनिंग टेबल के नीचे सोए ऐसा ऐसी सिचुएशन बट बॉम्बे में बॉम्बे में बट एज किड्स यू डोंट थिंक ऑफ दैट एज किड्स यू एंजॉय दैट इतने बच्चे साथ में यू नो करेक्ट सो सो इट वॉज ग्रेट एंड देन ही एट सम मीन्स सो यू नो आई डोंट नो मे बी दैट स्पॉइल्ट मी और जस्ट वट एवर बट देन इट वॉज देन आई सर ऑफ couldn't see the point of school and college to so, my businesses bought try kiye in my teenage year oh really kya kya kiya aapne pehle to yaar i first i started a, in our building we didn't this was only when i was 14 or 15 we didn't have like a you know those days there were book libraries ha to aas paas book library nahi thi ha to comics ka bada shauk tha not real serious books to be honest ha kya har cheez hi cheez jo bhi bana you know superheroes and couldn't find them so i started one borrowed from people and said you know other people can borrow books mm-hmm. and used to pay to borrow those books to chali nahi jata time uh, for whatever reason then we started a sports club in the building because there was no way to play sports uh-huh. today every neighborhood has sports yeah correct right. lekin wo time tha nahi to humne ek tv table laga diye carrom board laga diya we had to go to every flat in the building take money take permission There's quite a learning experience. That sports club actually still exists. Which okay. Is, yeah. So then, uh, that wasn't a business. That became more of a, a NGO type of situation. <laughs> then I started an interiors business, which I failed at terribly. How old were you then? Then I was about seventeen. And this is in parallel to school. Ha. Huh? I mean, school college chal raha hai. Or friends, no, the kisi friends ne kaha ye ham. मेरी आंट इंटीरियर डिजाइनर है तो उसको ये सब चीज़ों की जरूरत पड़ती है शीर गेट इट फ्रॉम लेट्स गो फाइंड आउट एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट सेलिंग टू कुछ नहीं हुआ थोड़े बहुत पैसे बनते थे हम बदमाशी में उड़ा देते थे तो यू नो इज नॉट सीरियस इन लाइफ बट देन माई मॉम गॉड रियल हैवी ऑन बी तो आई हैड टू फाइनली फाइंड अ वे डू समथिंग ट्राइड वर्किंग विद माई फादर वो जवा नहीं सो देन आई बैक इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सपोर्ट कॉटन मेड अप्स टू जर्मनी रिश्तेदार के थ्रू लेकिन worked really hard day and matlab once i found purpose na ki boss yahan paise banenge ye hoga wo hoga to you know dharavi ghumte rehte the to get these machines and these you know guys who were uh, stitching these made ups what's a made up sorry a made up so so uh, fabric is fabric uh garment is garment correct beech wala made up hota hai so like oh. a shopping bag if you got it right got a it. pillow cover if you will, right those are called made ups all right uh, yeah even i discovered then only when i started doing it is called a made up to wo fir matlab wahan par cotton price ka an option up ho gaya so i lost money and uh, you know young brash arrogant some of that still exists but that time it was a lot more to ka ki yaar ye desh ka hi problem hai yahan pe kuch bhi kar lo नुकसान ही होता है मतलब कांट सीट थ्रू वर्ड ईयर दिस वॉज अर्ली नाइन्टीज 
from like the late 80s to early 90s. You were really wrong on that on that thesis. Ha possibly. Matlab you couldn't those guys were making the made ups. Mereko 2 million bhejne the. Jab 30 din baki the, maine check up karne hamesha jata tha mereko bahar se dikhate look there is a stack. Sab chal raha hai kaam barabar hai sir 1 million ho gaya. I didn't know how to check. I didn't know these things. And mai pata chala yaar inhone 20% bhi nahi banaya. So I had to overnight set up a factory. You know how India yeah, was, hard. at least, uh, over-promise and under-deliver, yeah. right? We don't like to say no other country. Exactly. We didn't learn that. And there is an interesting point that I talk about with you. What I realized, why we don't like to say no. Okay. So, uh, or maybe one is the cause, the other is the effect. So then I said, yeah, you guys are going to go there. It comes to listen to the people that people are more professional. professional ye wo. तो वहाँ जब मैंने गया समझ में आ गया कि यहाँ तो कोई काम देगा नहीं पढ़ाई करो खत्म कर लो अपनी पढ़ाई फिर देखते हैं क्या करना गया था काम करने में फ्रेंड सर वी बोथ विल गो लाइक रोमांटिक आइडियाज ये सब किताबें पढ़ के पिक्चरें बॉलीवुड की देख के मतलब अकेले पहुँच गए लंबे बाल लेके कुछ बनाएंगे लाइफ में बट हैड सम टेरेबल एक्सपीरियंस वन लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब दैर एंड देन फाइनली said nahi yaar padhai khatam karte hain dad said you know i'll pay for it whatever uh, uh, he had started doing very well by the way so then he was a partner of the textile business and no he then by then he had left and started another one of his companies his brothers kind of moved on on his own and okay. he, he was running his own company he had uh, you know dombivli me factories thi bhondi me factories thi so he used to do complete cotton manufacturing right up how long to have 20 kids to allow resource surplus yeah, yeah. while you were in the us yeah, yeah so he was doing very well right he had become very well respected in the community the and you know uh, the company was very well known and you know so we were in the textile space in the textile space to to wahan par fir kaam vaam kiya matlab padhai khatam ki then you know couldn't find a job forever uh, but i'll come back to that uh, or you want me to continue that no no then? please go ahead yeah तो फिर मैंने काम मतलब आई फिनिश्ड आई ग्रेजुएटेड वहाँ पर सारा काम ही नहीं था नाइन्टी नाइन्टी सिक्स नाइन्टी सेवन तो काम ही नहीं मिल रहा था यार मैंने आपको क्या क्या काम ढूंढ रहे थे आप लुकिंग इन टेक्सटाइल स्पेस स्पेस नहीं 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 आई वाज लुकिंग इन द आई टी स्पेस मतलब इन कंसल्टिंग फाइनेंस टेक्सटाइल आई टी मेरे को टेक्सटाइल से तो भाई लम मेरे हाथ जुड़ गए थे आई ट्राइड वर्किंग विद डैड फैक्ट्री में बड़ी परेशानी होती है यहाँ से ट्रेन पकड़ने में डोंबे वाली दो घंटे आता था फॉर अ टीन एजर इट्स वेरी वेरी पेन तो ऐसे नहीं वो तो करना ही नहीं है मेरे को बट काम नहीं मिल रहा था यार आई डिड लाइक आठ सौ रेज्यू में एंड बट आई एम द काइंड ऑफ गाइव डजन से गिव अप इजली एंड पेरेंट्स को आई टोल दैम आई हैव अ जॉब अदरवाइज वुड से कम बैक राइट तो नाउ सिचुएशन वॉज सच दैट आई हैड नो मनी बिकॉज इफ आई वुड आस्ते फॉर मनी दिस इट देर इज यू सैलरी राइट एंड तो पैसे नहीं थे बिल्कुल and the first time i experienced hunger and this something everybody should do in life at once because generally hum bolte hain hame samajh mein aata hai but yaar experiencing hunger teaches you a lot so everyone that I, on that road i heard so many people very nonchalant they say hey, let's order something on zomato i'm starving yeah when you really don't know no. what starving means you miss totally never missed a meal in your life Correct. you miss two and your body starts reacting i have not done it honestly main to fasting no karta hu 24 ghanta to now i can when you decide to do it it's much more liberate ha but then when you kya hota hai option hota hai ha bilkul bilkul pata hai ki yaar jab bhi jaa chahun main kha lunga wahan pe agar option hi nahi hai you don't know to agar aap nahi khaoge na like uh, there was a time i didn't eat for 2 3 days i like, couldn't eat how much how long with friends help right so yeah, and you feel know. they would have helped but you also feel bad na after a while yeah. so Oh, and you have credit cards are maxed out everything is finished what, what do you do right and credit ni limited hi hoti hai uh but it was not like i wouldn't say i was on the street sleeping on you know uh, ac situation nahi thi but i did world. experience uh, some level of uh, you know extreme uh, how do i say lack of resources or lack of anything lekin fir main ek company mein ghus gaya micro strategy mein wahan i said yeah unhone interview ke liye bula liya i said yeah to main naukri le ke rahunga so somehow whatever However, I convinced them. I got a job as uh, actually the no, first I got a job as a cobol programmer. Why to? What was it? Ah. So he took me. Ah. But I hated it. I hated it to the. I mean, one day I took four hours to get to find a comma, <laughs> and that was wrong. What ah. was wrong with the program? Correct. So I can't spend my life like that. So I went to the beach and went to sleep. But then I got into this company, MicroStrategy. We were worth about a hundred million public company at that point, 
And the next three years after I joined them, we became a $40 billion market cap company. This was a dot-com boom days. Oh, wow. And I had... Read on watch. Huh, and I had joined as a sales consultant, but very quickly I rose and I became director of strategic partnership. So I had a lot of stock options. So I was a multi-millionaire in my early 20s. Right, wow. And, you know, just crazy. I never saw it, I never thought it. I mean, that dream when we thought that the US will go to the US, the pictures in movies, it's been such a thing. Are you liquidating that? Or? No, no, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but at one point, at least, on paper, you don't right? understand paper wealth, you don't understand these things, you're too young, right? I mean, the car order was ordered, sports car, Ferrari, it was all done. We had parties in our stadiums. It was next level. Uh-huh. Cruise ships we used to go out on for our corporate parties. But, so that thing became a reality, boss. I mean, you suddenly you buy into, yeah, America is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I was doing so many years ago. I mean, what happened in 2-4 years? Right. And it actually happens overnight. It actually happens overnight. Right. But, uh, but then 2001 happened. Yeah. The whole boom ka matlab crash ho gaya. And what happened to micro strategy? Micro strategy drove the crash. So we became devils of Wall Street from darlings overnight because our company announced an accounting irregularity. I don't know. So our stock went to 660. I remember the number 666 because the devil's number. Devil's number. Yeah. <laughs> And we became a penny stock I within see. a matter of two, three months. So, we had millions of dollars. Se, and we were leveraging that stock on margin to buy other companies' stock. Pets.com and Fresh.com and you know all the crap that was going on during that. Yeah, this is crazy. So, margin call on So, we to debt. Mein gaye. How to explain that to family? Right. Kyunki, and personally, had you, you collateralized your shares to yeah, take yeah. on loans and all? Yeah, personally, yeah. Also? personally. Oh, holy fuck. I'm talking about the company. I'm talking about the company. Now, today, MicroStrategy is the same company that Michael Saylor runs. He's a huge guy who bets yeah. on Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, same company. Oh, Michael Saylor? Oh, this is Michael Saylor. Wow. Yeah. 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 Felt really terrible because until a few months back, I used to come to the India for vacation every year. So, I was hired to dollars in a little bit of engineer hire kar liye the. Well, 5,000 bucks is what they used to cost. Yeah. And we are multi-millionaire. Well, let's build a company, moonlighting karing, let's build something, you know, in the time pass. Karte. And, you know, talk big, you know, in the family with friends. And, I mean, you know, I know my... <laughs> But, but you know, were you in the in the red on like do you have a lot of like debt? Yeah, I had to clear that debt. Yeah. But you know, youth is something where you kind of are little Teflon coated, no? Thoda matlab, fir bana lenge. Ah. Kya ho gaya? Correct. Right. Somewhere you have to tell yourself also that yeah. because how will you go on otherwise? Correct. So because I had started this small company here, wo moonlighting se chal rahi thi. Kya karte thi wo company? Wo IT services karte thi dusro ke liye. Matlab. India mein. हाँ फ्रांस से मैं कहीं से प्रोजेक्ट ले लेता था इंटरनेट से ये करके दे देंगे माय कजन स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विद मी सो वी स्टूड ड्रामा बिजनेस इन द यूएस एंड यूरोप इस डीपली एंटरप्राइजिंग स्टाफ है हाँ नहीं इतना भी नहीं है मतलब मतलब लिव इन द यूएस एंड लाइक बी फुल्ली इन्वॉल्व्ड कमेंट्स टे� in India, where you are like paying off engineers of a personal capital. Frankly, Shantanu, you think so much. I mean, today, in hindsight, you will see that it looks enterprising. But it was not so much. I mean, it was just having fun, doing stuff, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Chalte jana hai. You know, they say be hungry and be foolish. I finally realized why. I used to always wonder why do they say be foolish? You should be smart. Why should you be hungry and foolish? You should be hungry and smart. Because if you're smart. You will not do 90% yeah. of the things that you should be doing that will make you successful. Completely. That is why we foolish. So, that was not enterprising, that was foolish. Foolishness. Right. Yeah. Just yeah, because yeah, entrepreneurship requires a huge amount of maximizing upside versus minimizing downside. And smart people are always on the minimizing downside huh. bent of mind. And smart people can see all the constraints. Correct. Right. Very easily. Yeah. They know everything that can go wrong. Go wrong. And, and so, uh, 
तो फॉर्चुनेटली ये शुरू हो गया था यू नो नहीं तब नहीं आया मेरे को मेरे को यूएस छोड़ना पड़ा कहाँ पता तब तक मैं न्यूयॉर्क पहुंच गया था वाशिंगटन डीसी चला गया था बॉस्टन से देन आई वेंट टू न्यूयॉर्क न्यूयॉर्क तो वही स्टेट सिटी यार एक बार रह रहा था वहां पे डोंट फील लाइक लीजिए आई लव डेड हाय फ्रेंड्स कहां पे रहता था वहां पे आई वाज इन मैनहट ब्यूटीफुल तो आई वाज लविंग इट लाइफ सॉलिड थी यहां पे आओ तो मम्मी कहती है शादी कर लो वहाँ रहो तो तो मैंने कहा यार आपने शादी कर लो तो काफ़ी सीरियसली नहीं हाँ वो लेना ही पड़ा फिर एंड में तो ये ये दौरान हमने शादी डॉट कॉम शुरू कर लिया था फिर मौज मोबाइल विच इज़ इंडिया फर्स्ट गेमिंग कंपनी शुरू कर लिया आउट ऑफ दैट मून लाइटिंग शॉप इज इट करेक्ट एंड देन मैन आई रिटर्न इन टू आई रिटर्न ओवर टू ईयर्स टू 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 पहले साल मैंने चार महीने बताए यहाँ पे अगले साल मैंने छह महीने बताए सब रिमोटली कराते थे प्रोजेक्ट इतना सेपरेशन एंगजाइटी था कैसे दे दें वो गाड़ी भी पड़ी हुई थी टू सेल इट ऑल बट बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू हम एक बात कर रहे थे बट वाई पीपल डोंट से नो एन इंडिया एक मेरे को समझ में आया आफ्टर living there and coming back here hmm. is yaar us west mein kya hai na especially in the us actually ha mostly in the us the responsibility of communication lies with the speaker if you noticed yeah hum mere ko yaad hai hum class mein baitha karte the tab one student used to at first when i was in class he said oh scott i don't understand what you're saying and the professor he felt bad ki he couldn't explain so he tried two three different ways so i was shocked Yeah, how can you not agree with the professor and you're calling him as yeah. but mere mein ek batti jali oh. ki boss ek to you can disagree there is and you will be encouraged to express your opinion yeah. so i got a lot of confidence yeah. same matlab mera whole outlook on life changed and secondly why is he feeling bad that this guy couldn't understand shouldn't this guy feel bad that he couldn't understand kyunki hum to kisko hamare ko to ye sikhaya gaya tha ki bol do pehle ki ha samajh gaye samajh Right. कभी ऐसा मत बोलो कि समझे नहीं करेक्ट एंड दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन लाइज टू द लिस्नर करेक्ट तो नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू से नो तो समझ के आ, कुछ बोला तो बोला हाँ उसको बोलो दोहरा दे आधा गलत होगा चाइनीज रिस्पॉन्स इफ यू प्ले इन इंडिया विल बी वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम चाइनीज रिस्पॉन्स यू प्ले इन दू एस राइट सो आई रियलाइज दैट आफ्टर आई केम बैक पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज यू देन होल्ड द कम्युनिकेटर रिस्पॉन्सिबल ha huh. or you are able to ability to understand rather than yourself and that solves the problem of getting the right message from point a to point b which is the whole point of communication but if the communicate hmm. is responsible for understand Correct. then all kinds of comedy of errors take place Correct. right Correct. राइट अभी जो मैं गाड़ी में आया यहां पर उसको मैंने बाकायदा समझाया कहां जाना है सेंट इन द एड्रेस बट ही विल नेवर आस्क मी फॉर क्लेरिफिकेशन तो वो मुझे ले गया 15 मिनट और आगे देन आई लुक्ड अप आई सेड भाई क्या कर रहा है you could have just asked yeah right but he thinks it's his responsibility to understand yeah i which creates all kinds of problems that is that is that is very right. interesting yeah so one of and the why do you think that's an india centric thing by the way i don't know if it's chinese as well mere ko itna i've been to china but it's a senior junior thing like it could be that authority diff uh, yeah. top down approach culture that we've had so maybe it emanates from there but one hack that i figured out very quickly after i came back is ye bahut bada problem ho sakta hai तो जनरली आई सैड आस्किंग पीपल टू रिपीट वॉट आई सेट कि वॉट डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड क्या समझे हाँ हाँ नहीं तो आप बोलो कुछ होता और कुछ और है हाँ फिर उसके बाद यहाँ आए एंड देन यू नो वी जस्ट सर ये आई टी सर्विस वगैरह हमसे नहीं होगा लेट्स बिल्ड ब्रांड्स तो हमने शादी डॉट कॉम बनाना शुरू किया एंड वो थीसिस कैसे आया था सर वो यही शादी को लेकर ही आया था मतलब खुद की शादी हाँ वो डैड के दोस्त बन के लोग घूमते थे कि भाई यू नो आई एम योर डैड्स फ्रेंड एंड ऑल तो समझ में आ जाता था वो जिस टाइप के कपड़े पहनते थे कि आप किस लिए आए हो राइट रियली हाँ तो बट आई यूज टू फील वेरी यार तुम क्या कराओगे मेरी शादी तुम कितने लोग को जानते हो हाउ मनी बायोडी डस्ट यू हैव इन योर बैग तो पचास में क्या होगा यार वॉट इफ आई वॉन्ट वन इन अ मिलियन हाँ तो तुम कैसे कराओगे Mm. but that spark went up we said let's put all this on the internet mm. and then anybody can find anybody anywhere mm. you know, and internet was just trying to take off correct humne wo shuru kiya fir humne moj mobile shuru kiya which is mobile gaming site too early too early too early mm. uh, did a in 2007 i made my first angel investment i didn't know it was called angel investment huh. 
एंजल्स इज समथिंग यू बिकेम इफ यू आर गुड एंड यू डाइड एंड यू वेंट टू हेवन समझ ही नहीं थी बट अपॉर्चुनिस्टिक थे एज यू सीन ऑलरेडी वोट आई टोल्ड यू तो तीन चार लोग एक एड एजेंसी चला रहे थे दे वर वर्किंग दे दर नॉट रनिंग And they mm-hmm. came to me pitching as a Shadi dot com to buy their services. So I said, "Boss, don't look solid." Or I didn't like their boss. So I said, "Isko chhod do. Main paise deta ho. Agency bana rahe the." That became India's biggest ad agency, and I became. It was called Interactive Avenues. Oh yeah. And I became the largest shareholder there. Then we got Sequoia in and this and that, but I still remain the largest shareholder. We exited that in 2012, 13. Wow. Then in 2008, 9. I built out Makan. dot com, which again I was, I didn't have investors. Who I had put money in, which we exited in 2015. Okay. And Shadi. dot com we still operate. Correct. And that angel investing ka khun kehte hai na, mujhe uh-huh. lag gaya tha, thoda baat samajh mein aa gaya tha ki yahan paise ban sakte hai. Ah. So wo karne lage, so abhi fir Shark Tank ho gaya. Ah. So it became a big part of what I do. How you are you are probably one of India's most, if not the most famous angel investor. Just given tenure or how long you have been in it. But I'll I'll come to Shadi. dot com. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot of stories about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
कॉन्वर्सेशन So what better way than to use conversation to spark conversation right and you are absolutely right because this comes back to your earlier point the responsibility of communication whether it's an individual teaching as a professor uh-huh. or a brand telling 140 crore people they want to reach out to right, right. the responsibility lies on us correct to tell the right thing that the consumer understands yeah. hum log i see so many founders complaining ki today's generation is so you know uh, uh, you know their zero attention span फेसबुक महंगा हो गया है मतलब तुम्हारा मैसेज ही नहीं जा रहा फिर मैसेज नहीं आ रहा योर फॉल्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू कम्युनिकेट इन अ वे दैट स्मार्ट एनफ सो वी फाउंड अ कूल वे टू डू इट बट कमिंग बैक टू योर एंजल इन्वेस्टिंग टेल मी अबाउट लाइक टेल मी अबाउट दैट जर्नी लाइक इंटरेक्टिव एवेन्यूज ऑब्वियसली आई हर्ड अबाउट अबाउट द कंपनी एंड देन वी सोल्ड इट टू आईपीजी सो टुडे आल्सो इट्स द लार्जेस्ट एजेंसी इन इंडिया करेक्ट करेक्ट बट आईपीजी नाउ रन्स इट पर आपका कैसे थीसिस रहा है लाइक व्हाट आर सम ऑफ द मोस्ट मेमोरेबल हिट्स एंड फ्लॉप्स ऑफ द एंजल इन्वेस्टिंग जर्नी हाउ आर यू टुडे वर्सेस व्हाट यू वर देन Like has a thesis broadly given the same bad good people in large markets or is it kind of evolved? No, it's a little bit change. Why? Uh, because, see, first, initially, though, yeah, honestly, Shandam, there is no thesis. I mean, opportunistic. Thesis, etc. So, it's a very strong word. So, there is no thesis. 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 So, because very few people had the cojones to come out and start a company in until let's say 2012 correct to wo time pe only the guys who had very deep conviction mm. or deep experience in something right would come out and do it right correct. so you had the luxury to sit back and say what's kya bana raha jaise interactive avenues ki baat kare to main us se tab aaya tha and because i was fresh back from the us I had seen a lot of the stuff that was going to happen. It already happened. Hmm. Yeah, so clear. Ho gaya tha. I think just before that, Microsoft so had bought a digital agency of four billion dollars. Correct. I remember. Right. Yes. So all these agencies were getting bought. So yeah. it was very clear. Writing was on the wall. The agencies, digital agencies, banegi, badi banegi. Or value creating. Or <laughs> value create. Karing. Purani wali nahi kar pa rahi. Correct. And yeh bhi clear ho gaya tha. This is one of the best teams to do it. They have been running it as professionals. Correct. But now as founders, as co-founders, yeh best. Hai. Correct. So isme kuch zara galat nahi ho sakta. Mm. And I am generally speaking overly optimistic. I guess as an entrepreneur, you have ah, to be. Correct. So, bas aise laga. Ah. Usi tarah, you know, uh, Ola also happened fairly early on. Wow. How did that happen? Wo yar, mere ek friend ne mere ko kaha tha, boss, yeh dek company. Rehan, was it Rehan? Haan. Ah, ah. वो बना रहा है कुछ टैक्सीज के लिए तो करना है क्या तो यू नो हाउ योर ओन एक्सपीरियंस इज यूजली डिटर्मिन ऑब्जेक्टिविटी लोग कहते हैं ऐसे करना चाहिए बट होती नहीं जनरली इट्स हार्ड तो आई हैड नेवर फाउंड अ प्रॉब्लम ओनली विथ गेटिंग अ कैब इन बॉम्बे यस बाहर निकलो बिल्डिंग के वो रही टैक्सी तो ऐसे भाई प्रॉब्लम कौन सी है सो ऐसे नहीं नहीं बेकार है And just as luck would have it, I happened to be in Delhi for a trip. And then, wow! Or one taxi didn't get me. Agree? Right? Or one guy said, "I said, 'Bye, how? Out? 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 Bavishir. Uh, randomly. So half the time he used to only answer the phone. Really? वो हमने भी किया शुरू में यही करना पड़ता है. हाँ. कोई था ही नहीं पैसे ही नहीं थे. Nobody was beginning in money. Correct. So I just found that he was very passionate, determined, or problem समझ में आ गई. हाँ. So I said, डाल सकते हैं बीस तीस लाख रुपए. तो वो टाइम बीस तीस लाख में बहुत थे. A lot. और uh, interactive avenues में मैंने काफी करोड़ डाल दिए थे और value बन गई थी. हाँ. So I said, boss, यहाँ पे देखते क्या होता है. क्योंकि बात है दो हजार ग्यारह बारह की दो हजार ग्यारह ग्यारह बारह की बात क्रेजी वाली तो डाल दिया पाँच छः सात करोड़ का वैल्यूएशन होगा शायद नॉट ही एंड यू नो टुक ऑफ ग्रेट फाउंड ग्रेट आंसरपनो यू नो हस्टलर डिटर्मिन तो टुक ऑफ और 
मैं करता रहा इन्वेस्टिंग मैं कान डॉट कॉम फिर मैंने बेच दिया टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन में थोड़े पैसे वहाँ से आ गए तो आई कंटिन्यू टू एंजल इन्वेस्टिंग एंड यू लाइक कंटिन्यू टू बिल्ड पोर्ट फोर लाइक वही ऑल्सो एज एन एंजल इन्वेस्टर वही कॉन्शियस ऑफ एग्जिट्स कैन एट सीरीज सी सीरीज डी द वैल्यूशन इज गॉट फूल मेरा ऐसा था कि आई टू फील कि कभी एग्जिट करना ही नहीं चाहिए क्यों वो टाइम पे ऐसा ला यू नो पता नहीं है कोई थियोरीज थी कि अच्छा इन्वेस्टमेंट किया है एंड यू कॉकी राइट कि यू बिलीव दैट ऑल द इन्वेस्टमेंट्स यू डन गुड तो दैट मी यू होल्ड देम फॉर एवर टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग और हमने देखा था इंटरक्टिव एवेन्यूज में आई हेल्ड एंटी वी सोल्ड राइटली वी सोल्ड विद इन सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ फाउंड इन यू नो देर आई एड अ वेरी एक्टिव रोल बिकॉज आई वॉज द लार्जेस्ट शेयर होल्डर uh then macan.com also uh, you know i founded it and then sold it sold the entire company so i said that is the best way to get an exit ha to Be- sell or like there's a real exit situation ha bc mein karoge to value accretion to baad mein hoga india is just Bo-bo-bo-bo-bo-bo-bo-bo. taking Haan. off to itna and india ka jo cycle tha vc ka if you look at windows were very small 2006 was a small window 2012 was a small window 2015 was a small Correct. window 2018 में फिर गिर गया तो द रियल फाउंडेशन दैट्स बीन बिल्ट हैज हैपेंड ओनली ओवर द लास्ट 10 इयर्स दैट्स बीन फ्री लिक्विड मनी करेक्ट राइट तो ऐसे लग रहा था कि सारी कंपनीज बहुत बड़ी बनी करेक्ट राइट करेक्ट करेक्ट तो दैट इज वन बिग लेसन लर्न राइट बट टू अमंगस्ट द थ्री यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट थीसिस एंड अभी क्या व्यू है इज एग्जिट पर ध्यान इज की एग्जिट इज पे पेपर वैल्यू हैज नो वैल्यू तो माइक्रो स्ट्रेटेजी से समझ जाना चाहिए था लेकिन इतनी जल्दी नहीं सीखता हूँ बट बट फॉर्चुनेटली फॉर मी बिकॉज ऑफ दीज एक्सिट्स वाई कंपनीज गॉट सोल्ड माई आई आर आर वॉज अमेजिंग आई कैन स्टिल अमेजिंग माई आई आर आर इज नॉट ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट ऑन रियलाइज एट क्रेज राइट ओवर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑन रियलाइज आई मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट बट आई डोंट टेक दट इन टू So you are like a cover up for the the bad messages it, it allows you to have. जहाँ निकल सकता था दो चार जगह में नहीं निकला मैं. Right. Mm. Uh, but paper wealth has no value. I mean, especially, especially in early stage investing, because liquidity windows come and go. Come and go. Correct. और जब वो चली आती फिर आप कुछ भी कर लो जो सौ की चीज थी वो दस में भी नहीं जाएगी. Correct. Right. Correct. और जो विंडो आती है तो सौ की दो सौ में भी चली जाएगी. Correct. Right? So if you don't get that right, yeah. if you don't start taking money out the right. table, and that I've incorporated now, uh, right? Uh, but that's the thing. Like people always struggle to understand that exit timing and exit is almost impossible. Huh? You can't, especially you when you're on the top of the market. Yeah. वो नहीं हो सकता. Right. और उसके लिए मैंने अभी एक कंपनी में. So mobility was a big. So you were talking about thesis, ना? हाँ. तो मैं thesis कभी बनाना नहीं था. But after all, I said, yeah, mobility interesting है. India में सारा problem ही problem. Hmm. बस पकड़ो ट्रेन पकड़ो टैक्सी पकड़ो कुछ भी पकड़ो यहाँ पे बड़ी कंपनीज बनेगी तो आई एंडेड अप इन्वेस्टिंग इन ओला रैपिडो ओके चलो चलो में से आई जस्ट एग्जिटेड ग्रेट एग्जिट राइट बट दी ओल्ड अनुपम वुड नॉट गॉट नाउट रियली राइट बेस आई मीन स्टिल ऑलमोस्ट हाफ अ बिलियन डॉलर वैल्यू राइट और दो कंपनी है एक इंटरसिटी बस सवारी है सवारी नहीं नहीं नो सवारी एनी दैन दिस न्यू सर्व ऑफ मॉडल इज डूइंग वेरी वेल उसका नाम क्यों नहीं आ रहा है एंड देन देयर इज एन इंट्रा सिटी बस कंपनी दैट आई हैव लाइक शटल लाइक शटल बट शटल शिप बंद हो गई हां बॉम्बे की है एंड सो वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ मोबिलिटी पोर्टम किलिंग इट व्हाट इज किलिंग इट नो आई कैन सी यू कांट ऑलवेज टेक पोर्टर पे भी मेरे को आया है राइट again to exit someone is ready to buy out at decent half a billion north but i know with porter right dominance hai network effects of are huge strong correct. in this business correct right bahut mushkil hai vote is huge bahut log aake matlab haath jod ke nikal gaye correct team solid hai right and so i believe that it is at least a 4 5 billion dollar outcome now will i wait until then probably not, not yeah but maybe the next year i'll get out so i i think that you should uh, take money out but mm-hmm. you shouldn't apply blanket rules ki mai series d mein nikal jaunga ha ah. right i think that doesn't quite work correct i think case by case every right. series d is not the same correct it could okay. be a different type of series d in a different market correct but do, this is where you make an interesting point around you can't time an exit 
and when you feel like there's an opportunity available, the IRR makes sense. It's been few years. You have an, I also feel personally that if I'm able to get an exit from one place and I have three, four companies who are at a very young stage and I can redeploy it there yeah. and this company may not need it, I exit and redeploy it there. It's a oh, dangerous a thoda. Ah. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> so people have told me hey, yeah. Malab, this is not a money then you're writing off all your angel opportunities There's, uh, this is dangerous to redeploy and those people say mera 40% IRR so this company has mature so this will give me 30% so this will give me 40% but that 40% will not last yeah. I choose very high alpha because alpha. it depends on the vintage yeah. you got in competition has changed market has changed but, but I feel like my view is that this company doesn't need my money anymore. Right. These four probably do. But from an investment standpoint, yeah. does it make sense no, to I stay don't. on the company or not? Right. Exactly. If it's doing very well, and it's a company that's going to make a lot of uh, rogue, uh, you know, return on capital employed over the next five, ten years, yeah. probably going to go couple public. You are best suited to at least leave some of your money in there. Right. Hundred percent. Yeah. So one way to think about it is take out principal plus fifteen percent yeah. IRR and leave profit in. How do you think about this for founders? Like I have a lot of founders today, especially today, think about founder liquidity. And I don't know whether it's a function of talking to people like you who kind of made wealth over a lot, lot of lot of years, but to say, hey, I'm giving up an amazing job at this and this, and you know, uh, I I want to take off this percent off the table within the second year or third year and this one. So at least I cover my downside and I'm fully, you know, I'll taste blood and I'll continue to invest in. The upside is can be zero to whatever, but the downside I protect at least. So you like you founder in a yeah. company, I'll take some money out yeah. and uh, reinvest. I reinvest or like be build super, a be super risk averse about it. Yeah, I've seen founders for example. I've seen founders say ki ninety nine percent of my net worth is in yeah. my company. Yeah, one percent is liquid, which I've done a secondary or whatever, and that I'll mutual fund it or right. be super risk averse about it. But it gives. I've seen it do two things. One is I've seen it make founders comfortable and hence they're able to focus without worrying about daily things. Other is I've seen founders who go crazy and yeah, they, they either angel invest or they just feel like they've made it. Made it. Yeah. And then their focus on the company becomes very, very dilutive or m m mute. No, it's right. And I've seen it all as well. And yeah. I've experienced it as well. Yeah. So I think it also comes down to, uh, quant I don't think there's any specific rule. It comes down to quantum yeah. and timing, right? Correct. If you have company found in your first year, in your first three years, you are having a chat with your investors that mm. I have to take a little money and it's a very big red flag. Is it? First of all, you have started. You have to give a little paper. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. You know, 10-20 years of work, then you have to go and take a look. You know, if it's beyond like five years and you're taking money out to buy yourself a house. Yeah. Right? So your foundation is secure. Or mother or something. Whatever. That's okay. But if you're taking money out to now start angel investing yeah. and to start building other stuff or try to replicate what Elon Musk is doing or whatever, but yeah. you know, he's probably the worst example for founders. <laughs> in one way, in one way, he's a great example. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people now believe they can do what he's doing, run 10 companies at the same time. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, and we know that's very hard. So yeah. uh, I think it depends on that signal. So if you have to buy a house, you have to buy a house, that's okay. But if you are going to create wealth for yourself, yeah. while your investors have not yet, I think that to me is a no-no. Yeah. Right? That becomes tough. Because okay. then you don't have incentives aligned. That is so true. Right? Because you have wealth. Now, half the time you're asking questions, ki, how do I make some Bitcoin? Mein dalu? Correct. Right? US market, mein dalu? Dubai, mein ghar Correct. Yo, life starts revolving around very different questions. Right. Right. And the thing is, that's so true because I've noticed my fundamental job at as a founder and CEO is capital allocation and then people allocation. Right. There's only two things I actually really have to do. Absolutely. I don't have to do anything else. Yes. That's if I do these two things well, yeah. in a big market, I should get good outcomes. And that is in your case, for a lot of people, the only problem is people allocation. Because capital is not like that in a lot of yeah. Right. You don't have. To, there's only one place you will put capital, yeah. which is employing people. Correct. Right. So Correct. it comes back to people. Yeah, but in my case, I have to like marketing, for example. Right. To media. Or manufacturing. Do manufacturing. Do manufacturing. Like what kind of category? Right. Import timbers and razors are all imported. So yeah. how much of inventory of each do I need? Right. Yeah. I would like serve out a three four month season, for example. Right. But you seem to be someone who has straddled 
wealth, frugal business building, and multiple businesses at the same time. Yeah. You did, are you someone who can easily shift context? Yeah, I have had to train myself to be honest with you. Not something I enjoy particularly. Very tough here to <laughs> operate, invest, uh-huh. early stage invest, manage your money. So I just think that kya hua na mare saath two three things happened one is I you always talk about yourself in the plural like do you when you say hamare no, I'm just used to it. okay <laughs> that's why you feel okay thoda i don't know why because is it a calcutta thing no no it's just a it's just a spiritual wisdom thing maybe or whatever ki akele to kuch nahi kiya collector ha wo log hi hai family hai friends hai employees hai sab ne milke hi kiya to correct Oh. I used just happen to be the face of it. <laughs> correct. Yeah. Correct. And I I always struggle with the American way of I I I, oh, yeah. right? My administration will do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a very individualistic. It's a very individual. You stayed there for 10 12 years but you, uh-huh. you 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 stayed away from that way of Well, like matlab, a joint family with 20 people uh, in an individualist society is uh, very possibly that value system parents inculcated a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, from the beginning ki sabko leke chalna hai sabke saath rehna hai. you know so yeah. so i you know honestly i love taking credit for things that go right i don't get me wrong <laughs> humility is not my middle name at all <laughs> but i'm saying when it comes to at a deeper level yeah. at a superficial level i might enjoy that yeah. but at a much deeper longer level right yeah. i you know i'm more lean towards believing in the universe and things like oh, esoteric stuff but usko chhod de hum kya baat kar rahe hain context like how did you shift context between running multiple companies to first of all to google in one and being adventurously enterprising in another context huh. constantly like how did you to so like a lot of things in my life na shandnu i mean i can look back and i can say are i had this grand vision and we can all retrofit a lot of stuff but a lot of it is compulsion okay and a lot of it is necessity to uh jaise shaadi jo humne shuru kiya right abhi aisa ho gaya ki uh the market turned out to be smaller than we expected right uh and so your market let me like, hold your thought your market was internet savvy matrimonial match seeking parents and possible groom and bride that market was small and we were very early on humne jab shuru kiya and, and if you small... look at the so i'll tell even shaadi and moj mobile if you look at the context between 2004 5 till 2012 13 until Mobile phone prices came crashing down, Correct. and data rates came down. You're paying sixty rupees a minute and twelve kbps and twenty four kbps, and we were selling games at that point. So, what problem? What was it? Na, internet users in India went from like eight million to eleven million over eight nine years, twelve million. That's crazy. Th- there was nothing. Nah, I'm better. They, they, they. Now, I have inflation. Now, I have inflation. Now. That's crazy. So, we just. Time for everything was for. In fact, we started one of the first e-commerce companies in the company called Taj Online, right? Taj Online, is it? बहुत पहले की बात है. But time ही नहीं था. कुछ बड़ी नहीं रहा था because data access was not there. So at that point, I was forced to ask the question, boss, how do we make this larger? Right. And so multiple segments. So we had a dating site at that point. We had this Taj Online where we were a significant uh, stakeholder. Somebody else was running it. then we started makan.com which is this property thing uh gaming company ki thoda thoda sab mila ke it will become like an internet interactive uh uh kind of replica of the us and when the market will grow maybe these will we'll see all good ha ha or they'll become separate companies and that's kind of what happened once the market started growing uh so during that time I was sort of forced to start these multiple things, and secondly, That's just cool. you know, better way the. Then I, I mean, market not growing, so investing started. Right. Mm. Uh, today, for example, if you ask me, and then Shadi went through its own sort of ups and downs, and uh, you know, one of our competitors went public, which we thought was a terrible idea, because mm. in a small industry, when you go public, and if you don't demonstrate the promise, yes. right. then you compromise the industry just to complete extent, it right to aap matlab to wo chalo ho gaya but uh, we've demonstrated since then that you can still grow so we we're still growing 25% a year mm. uh, in a fairly mature industry yeah. and uh, <coughs> and so i think ab aisa hai ki we have this company that we are operating 
Uh, we sold a couple of them. Uh, I've got this early stage portfolio, and uh, uh, and now the big question is, ki what's next? Yeah. Right. And uh, and frankly, that's where where I am. If you ask me, what are we going to do with Shadi uh, or any of these investments? I'm figuring that out right now. Right. So I don't have the perfect answer. But we we'll figure it out in the next. Uh, what what gives you energy? Like like you you are obviously a very public figure. You're on television a lot. You are investing a lot. You obviously operate. Um, you know your own companies. But what gives you energy to kind of do what you're going to do next? Like you you spoke about being spiritual. Yeah. But ah, like your your life experience seems to have like taken you across countries. Yeah. From hunger to multi-millionaire to crash to coming back to India yeah. and all of that. Today, as as you see, class, when you derive energy, what do you like? What do you seek explicitly and it with energy? Mere ko energy aati hai from two sources primarily, right? Uh, so I am good and bad, but I'm the kind of guy I'll walk into the room and I'll soak up the energy in the room. So if it's bad, if I'm around people with a negative energy or they're going through a tough time, it'll start telling me. Oh, really? But if I'm around people who are very positive, that will reflect in me. So for whatever reason, that's how I am, right? So that's one way. The other area that I get a lot of energy is from ideas. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't say this in media uh, because I operate, but operations suck out the energy from. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I do it now because I have to, yeah. but I don't like. It. I'm I'm I was terrible at it, okay. but I made myself somewhat good at it, uh, which is a good thing because now I know when somebody's operating well or not. Huh. But do I see myself as an operator over the next five ten years, running day to day? Probably not, right? Mm -hmm. Because it it takes away my energy. It takes away what I'm really good at, okay. and I'm really good what I think is a lateral thinking. Challenging the status quo and exploring new ideas, right? Do you and if I can put my energy into that area yeah. with people who are very positive, yeah. I think we can do some transformational stuff. So when I told you I'm figuring out next things, uh, that's kind of I'm figuring out how to end up there, right? As opposed to what are the big markets? You you seem to be someone who understood markets before they were happening. Yeah, you in some cases mobility before you understood internet boom yeah. before. What are you seeing now? Are you looking at electric? Are you looking at AI, I think it's a very abused word. I also don't understand it fully, but yeah. Where, where where do you derive lateral idea energy from for the next ten years, maybe? See, I think uh, understanding markets is one thing, and understanding opportunities is another, right? So, so make the difference. Ha, so I make the difference. Matlab, AI market is going to touch everything, is going to change everything. Correct. Opportunity. Do I invest in the next Gen AI company? They're not really doing anything foundational. Correct. Maybe somebody will win. Yeah. Can I tell who? Yeah. No. Uh eighty percent of value will probably accrue to the big tech companies yeah. in AI yeah. because I they have so much data and so much history. Correct. Uh, or maybe one or two new victors will emerge like open AI. Correct. Right? Uh but uskelaba because it is a winner take all in some sense it is. most hard so therefore market but opportunity i don't know right? correct uh just saying value creation opportunity correct right value creation opportunity for as a as a investor, investor or as like i what i want to do now is not just invest i want to be more involved investor in few large opportunities okay. so for example uh you know i think uh Space is very interesting. Really? Right. So I'm an investor, a pretty significant shareholder in a company called Agnikul, which is India's first uh, Tesla, not Tesla, what am I saying? SpaceX, SpaceX competitor in a way, but only difference is that we send even 50 kilo satellites up to the sky. But SpaceX, you have to wait for two years and you need like a ton of super expensive. So these guys make 3D engines, which you can fire off the back of a truck. So we're almost ready for launch. I think we'll, we've raised about you know, crazy amounts of money, 40, 50 million dollars. So great. Agni Kul. Right? Agni Kul, yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah. And why do you think space is an opportunity in addition? Like, why do you think space is a market opportunity? Why? Hmm? Uh, 
Uh, I always wonder why the world's richest men yeah. are so passionate about either Blue Origin or SpaceX because I always wonder what they will get out of. It, it just feels very far off for anything to happen meaningfully outside of the earth. There's so many problems to fix here. Yeah. But there is something clearly I don't see which 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 they are seeing and which you are seeing. I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know exactly how it will play out. I think but a couple of things are very clear. No, uh, you know, America is the biggest wealthiest nation in the world and the biggest wealth creator in the history of the world. Correct. And it happened exactly because somebody asked the question, "What's on the other side of the ocean?" Correct. Right. Correct. <laughs> so it's only when you ask a question like what's outside this planet yeah will we be able to answer that i mean at what point it sounds so arbitrary to it me it sounds like a huge stretch and it, it does a limitation on my mind at maybe. that point it was that was a huge stress imagine an ocean like that without knowing whether it's flat or round or what so how do you take off and say that yeah. you're going to discover a new land yeah. it's as arbitrary as that yeah. right uh, where at what point did we decide that no uh, we have gone to every far reaching exploration edge of the universe because we have understood the earth when yeah. did that's arbitrary yeah that is a we we have no concept of the universe okay. people keep saying it's ever expanding what does that even mean <laughs> right so we we don't know right yeah. to me the human nature is fundamentally about exploration Correct. right is about pushing the limits and that comes from only one place. It comes from your now. I'm getting into a little spiritual. Story. No, please, please. But it comes from your nature of being. Right. Your nature of being is ever expanding, which right. is the same as the universe. Why is the nature of being? What is desire? What is want? Yeah. You always want more yeah. because it's ever expanding. Correct. So at what point do you say, "I'm no, it's I'm done." That's enough. Yeah. I, it's too. It's too uh, arbitrary. One of my friends told me this very interesting thing. She said, "We we move from a small office to a big office." And I told her, her name is Siddha, she runs our women's brand. Hmm. I said, you will be amazed within one month, this whole office will be filled. Human beings have an ability to just go and put their stuff and go and grab every piece of real estate available. That's why we've had wars. Yeah. Right? But that's also why we have been able to explore and become who we are. Yeah. Because we've been able to go and grab every piece of real estate available. That's also why we have been able to explore and become who we are. Correct. And I co- it's very human nature so to just kind nature. of expand. So what is it after that? I mean, we have to do it if we are sitting. If we don't move, then something will come and hit us sooner or later and we're done. Yeah. Right? There's no question about that. It's happened before in history. Uh-huh. It is going to happen again when we don't know. Okay. But sooner or later it's going to happen. Right? Okay. And so we have to. We don't know what's out there. And the point is that technology, and regardless of what's out there, forget about what's out there. Uh-huh. Uh, let's look at opportunity because okay. you asked that question. Okay. I don't have to know what's out there for the opportunity. Okay, that That's is true. the adventurer in you saying what's out there. Correct. But all I have to know is technology is there today to for a lot of people to start sending a lot of shit up in the sky, <laughs> right? And who's going to be able to s- allow them? So I'm building a ferry service, Agnikulis, a taxi service. Correct. You have to send a rocket without waiting for months at end in a very cost-effective manner. We'll send it for you, right? You, you, and today, I mean, I've got hundreds of millions of dollars of uh, order book. Without sending a first rocket. It's crazy, you know? So, the point is, the, that market opportunities. I mean, what will Maybe after five years, people say, Kuch hai nahi, sir, wapis ah. aja. But, apna kaam to ho gaya tab tab, right? That's true. So, when e commerce became big, the delivery companies were the ones who kind of, yeah. more than Flipkart and Amazon and Mintra, it was the DTDCs and, Correct. you know, Blue Darts of the world that really made money. And this actually makes a lot of sense. So, so that's the. That's one thesis. Th- okay. That's, that's one. Uh, I think, you know, EVs. Everybody has a thesis on that. So, but the question is opportunity. Yeah. So what I've tried to do, like we did in fintech. Uh. In fintech, we decided very early on that boss India me agar invest karna hai finance me, to aap sirf uh, secured me karo. Matlab? Matlab I don't invest on secured lending. It's in the street mom. Pay- payments me karne wale the phone pay me hum. Uh, few of us are putting around together in phone pay when they came out to start phone pay. Mm-hmm. But then Fiat Card only invested. Okay. They look yeah. at us. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But in non payments lending me. Yeah. So secured lending, I've done rupeek. Yeah. First check I wrote him. I mean, right when nobody was touching it. Uh, completely secured lending. Okay. Uh, we've done a couple of others. There's another one called Grip, uh-huh. which is again secured lending. Correct. Okay. 
are doing doing very well. I've got two more secured lending uh, plays uh, that that we've commercial vehicle financing. So it's all secured lending, secured. right? Uh, mortgage, so housing finance. Right. So a uh, company doing uh, called basic, doing crazy numbers. So in EVs, uh, I'm indirectly invested in Ola. Correct. Right. Oh, so, you've not exited that investment? No, still holding. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's one of the things that I'm still holding. But that's uh, that's that's interesting. But other than that, I've tried to. I mean, hard to get into the incumbent manufacturers. Yeah. But I've tried to look at which are the proxies, right? Yeah. So we've done an EV financing company, which okay. figured out how to under. Nobody's figured out how to underwrite EVs. Yeah. Right, because you have to completely redefine the stack. Correct. Right, because Correct. you can't do it the traditional way. Correct. There's a company that specialized in that. Now they just raised the series. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, so that's the kind. Another space in EVs. I'm sure you know this better than me, but a very interesting entrepreneur has started a business on recycling of EV batteries. So she said that you know, at some point there's going to be a ton of these batteries yeah. which are either outdated or need recycling. Yeah. Who's going to collect them, process it? Make them usable again. So she's built up building a she's a partner at McKinsey. Oh wow. Left that to do this. She started uh, she wants to raise 15, 20 million or no, no, she's she's she just raised uh, I think a billion to get get her off the ground. Because uh, McKinsey guys don't speak less than five ten <laughs> and they leave. Otherwise, you guys raise five ten million dollars before I, 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 I take the first you did I need I need I raise like four crores. So yeah, ek wo kar lete. you were asking me about angel investing and Haan, a couple of things. What do we have on our... Aap, what did I say? One thing I said. What should do in angel investing? You said stay invested, but learn when to... Like if there's a good opportunity, exit it. So have an IRR. Haan, one so one thing I figured out is that paper... Wealth is not... Wealth bad. is not because specific to angel investing. You can say that in any sector. Ke bol sakte, right? Paper wealth is not Haan. wealth. But in angel investing, you don't have that much control or early stage investing Correct. over your destiny because you're not a large stakeholder. Correct. You cannot engineer outcomes. Correct. You cannot create problems for the founder. Correct. So you are mostly quiet guy, right? Correct. And, and uh, lowest on the lowest preference stack also. And you're dependent on windows to exit. Correct. So I think uh, cash on cash return is the most important metric thing in angel investing. The other thing, which is again very specific to angel investing, huh. is it is possibly the only asset class where it chooses you. Generally, you choose yeah. asset classes. Yahan pe hot deals mein unko char paanch angels chahiye. So how do you make yourself so desirable yeah. that people want you on every cap table? Yeah. Because especially jo market garam hoti hai, tab mm. koi ghosi nahi pata. Correct. You know. Yeah. And if you miss out the best deals, then yeah. uh, you're going to be left with very average returns. Correct. So I think that is another uh, very uh, specific aspect about angel investing that I find very different from other classes. Uh, and how do you how do you make yourself relevant to founders as an angel investor? Is it about operational involvement? Beca like be uh, become a celebrity. <laughs> 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 I wish it was that easy. <laughs> but does that help? Does Huge help? Now people are willing to give advisory just to... We don't take it. No, just take it. Nothing is free in life. Yeah. You don't have money and people are not going to go. You have to do it. If you have to do it, you have to do it. If you have to do it for free equity, then there's a certain expectation. You know how it is, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, time is your biggest thing, right? Okay. Stop. If multiple people who've given you free equity can start staking claim Maybe. on your time, yeah, because you've given the most important freedom. Reasons, right? Your freedom is gone. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So you have to be careful. Wow. Uh, but to, but now nobody says no. Pehle bhi, matlab, I was always I was okay, but now abhi to, matlab, people want uh, because of the celebrityhood and the stardom yeah. and name. How does has, has that affected your life? Has that affected you? I'm sure you can't Usually, walk. Uh, you can't walk on the streets. No, no, I can walk. I can walk. Yeah, मतलब शाहरुख खान थोड़ी बनेगी. But ऐसा नहीं है. But I think some places get more crowded than the others. Like airports and all are a big mess. Really? हाँ, मतलब काफी हो जाता है. If you go to like a event, it becomes uh, because it's a closed place, ना? Then mm. suddenly you get crowded. हाँ. Uh, 
I think you are you are also very approachable human being. Like all of you in general, and but you and Amant, and even Vinita to some extent, specifically, people feel that you are friends. Like, you are my friend. Oh. Like, I feel like, of course, my friend. Like, I, हक समय जाके बोल सकता हूँ तो लोग पकड़ लेते हैं ऐसे मतलब एक बाइक चला रहा था बंदा मैं रोड क्रॉस कर रहा था दिस वाज लास्ट ईयर एंड ही स्लोड डाउन इज बाइक एंड ही ग्रैब माय हैंड वाल राइडिंग ऐसे बॉस क्या कर सो सर फोटो लेनी है लेकिन जान थोड़ी लेगा थिंक यूर आउट ऑफ रीच इन देंस दैट देर टू सी यू सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल टूर डबल टर्न एंड वॉक नहीं हो सकता बट सम पीपल से नहीं वही तो यार इट्स हेल्प लॉट आई थिंक दो तीन चीजें एक तो यार वॉट्स नॉट टू लाइक है ना आई ऑलवेज से बॉस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल यूल फाइंड यू नो बिकम फेमस और सेलिब्रिटीज आई फाइंड इट वेरी अम्यूजिंग उनको पूछोगे ना कि कैसा लग रहा है दिल से यार यू नो बड़ी प्रिवेस ही नहीं रही तो ऐसे छोड़ देना फिर नेक्स्ट टाइम मत करियो बट I think that is coming not because of anything else, but because of our conditioning. We grow up saying that, "Matlab humble raho, yeah. aise raho, right?" Yeah. So we struggle with that. I struggled also initially. Yeah. Right. And so I think that's the problem uh, because you have a choice. Yeah. You can stop doing it, but yeah. to continue doing it and then to decry it, I don't yeah. think is there. So I love it. I embrace it. Line me khada nahi rana padta hai, boss. Usse bhi to kya hoga? Kahi bhi jao. रेस्टोरेंट रेजर्वेशन की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है राइट सो देर आर पर्क्स हंड्रेड परसेंट बट आई थिंक मोस्ट एंड मोस्ट मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल पर्क आई थिंक यू सेड इट बिकॉज आई ट्राई टू कीप माई सेल्फ अप्रोचेबल मैं कहीं भी जाता हूँ तो लोग आके बात करते हैं एंड मेरी आदत है मैं पूछता हूँ तुम कहाँ से हो क्या करते हो क्या पसंद है क्या तो आई इंटरेक्ट एंड यू नो वन ऑफ दिंग्स यू मे है ऑल्सो रियलाइज अ फाउंड is as you become a little somewhat successful hum thoda jis karan se hum shuru hue the why we started because we were one of the people janta yeah. we experienced a problem yeah. as them yeah. and we said isko solve karte hain correct as you become somewhat successful apni ac gaadi mein office jaate ho you have team of people ab kar jaate ho from your audience correct. right you were just giving me the example of these two guys from noise correct who go abhi unko effort karna padta hai metro mein jaake dekhne ko to connect with the audience correct right? So I think the biggest blessing for me has been is this connect now. These people who come and talk, yeah. and I can talk and understand their aspirations. एक दम भारत समझ में आ रहा है, right? Wow. ये सब जो अभी राम मंदिर का हुआ, if you had asked me a few years back, I would have had a very different take on it. Really? ये क्या हो रहा है? मतलब क्यों धर्म के नाम पे हम इतनी आवाज कर रहे हैं? I might have said that. Yeah. But what I've realized in the last couple of years, connecting and interacting with people. This boss reality is very different. So <laughs> you connect, jo, I mean, uh, you know, just you know, this is uh, this is more of a you know, I use the term Ram Mandir, but any issue you take, yeah. right? Uh, like, इसी की बात कर लो लोगों की भावनाएं जुड़ी हैं, right? People. I had no I idea, ah, man. I had no idea how important it was. Same here, but now when I interact with people, समझ में आता. My mom, right? I told my mom, I have known you all my life. Till date, like till maybe four five years back, I never thought that this was something that you. I know you're a religious person. Our house is a temple. She does puja. Like the festivals are very nicely celebrated as Mithai this time. But we're not a very overtly religious family. We are religious to the extent of it being faith. But this whole Ram Mandir thing, she and like the, the that generation there in the sixties, for them this is like a like they're planning an Ayodhya trip this year. Amazing. Right. Same story with my mom. Main, I was traveling, so uh, I didn't go to Ayodhya. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had an invitation. Oh, you, oh, you didn't, you didn't go to Ayodhya. Okay. But I got from there. I got they sent some mitti, prasad, a silver mm -hmm. coin, bagara, wahan se ek acha sa dibba aaya tha. So, ghar pe pada hua tha. So I was going to see my mom. So I didn't think just like you. मॉल्स पूजा वूजा होती है बट इतना मैंने सोचा नहीं था कि इट्स सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मैं तो आई सेड यार ये यहाँ पे हमारे काम आएगा लेट मी टेक इट फॉर मॉम शी वॉज सो माई गॉड आई नॉट सीन सो एक्सटैटिक बट आई सो हर थ्रिल टू पीसेज एंड शी सेड यू नो वॉट सिंस सो मेनी डेज आई बिन टेलिंग योर सिस्टर्स दैट कोई मेरे लिए प्रसाद जरूर लेके आएगा 
और आज मेरी मन्नत पूरी होगी एंड शी टुक आउट ऑल दोज थिंग्स डेकोरेटेड अ टेम्पल एंड ए वॉज लाइक आई वॉज लाइक वाओ आई नो आइडिया एंड ऐसे ही लोगों से मिलते हैं बातें होती है तो मतलब you know i'm hearing more and more of how people's emotions are attached to it how they feel that thousands of years of you know injustice has been corrected and so on and so forth yeah. now in a democracy you can again uh, say religion doesn't have an important role but if this is what's important to the majority of your country yeah. i mean who are we to then yeah. uh, you have to take a position yeah. uh, with the majority in some way Right, as long as you're not doing any injustice to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So, coffee. So much. Ne ko bilai. Logo. You know, products. What are you, you understand? You know, people want education for their kids. Yeah. People uh, aspirations because everybody is connected through the internet. Aaj ham jo, for example, uh, you know, shoes. Yeah. For me, shoes is a big thing. Main dekhta rehta hu ki log kya shoes pehnte hain. Lo hai wo. you know and and you look at people even in our production unit when we shoot uh, for shark tank uh everybody's wearing these really cool sneakers mm. aspirational sneakers right it doesn't matter which economic background they come from but they all have the same aspiration yeah right the 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 uh nike of india mm. or these aspirational sneakers is not some local brand it is the first copy of nike मुझे दो हजार रुपये में लेके आ करेक्ट सब पहन रहे करेक्ट तो यू गेट टू अंडरस्टैंड बात मैं पूछता हूँ कहाँ से लिया भाई कितने में लिया बिकॉज पीपल कम एंड टॉक राइट करेक्ट ऑल्सो लाइक बिकॉज सो मेनी यंगर पीपल आर वॉचिंग इन डे टू डे लाइफ आई डोंट नो हाउ मच इंटरेक्शन वुड हैव विद कॉलेज किड्स करेक्ट बट बिकॉज ऑफ शार्क टैंक लॉट ऑफ पीपल हू कम अपन सेवनटीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी फॉर ऑल्सो डू नो दैट द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट एट ऑफ मैन बाइज टू शेव हिमसेल्फ Ten years back, used to be a twenty to thirty rupee razor. वो जो सस्ता वाला मतलब guard, सुंदर वाला था, जिलेट का सत्रह एक वो big का भी आता है ना? Big का भी आता है, but India में mostly guard बिकता है. Guard is the number one product, twenty five to thirty rupees का. Today the first product that a man is buying is a four hundred rupee trimmer at the age of forty. Four hundred rupee. कौन सा भी दाढ़ी रखने लगा तो trimmer? हाँ, trimmer चीज़ ये बोल यहाँ पे आ रहे हैं मान, चौदह साल की उम्र में यहाँ पे आ रहे हैं, पहले date पे जा रहे बच्चा, school में है, you know? Wow. So, charge so big. No, I would never, unless I have a. I'm not a father, but if I had a nephew or whatever, that conversation will be very infrequent for uh-huh. me to know this. But now, because I'm closer to the consumers and you know they are they they come up because they've seen the podcast or I get invited to schools or whatever, I suddenly realize that this is where the market is. Yeah. That the you think the first I enter his bathroom not at 18 and now at at 14, and I need to enter with trimmer, and that's the thing. Like they yeah, are. That's a great insight. मतलब नहीं नहीं पता ना आपने को वो ऐसे मार्केट रिसर्च से नहीं समझ में आता और यंग किड्स तो बहुत लाइक आई फील वेरी वेरी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम देम साइकोलॉजिकली व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट रोल डज दिस मार्केट रिसर्च हैव अ रोल आई स्ट्रगल विद मार्केट रिसर्च यार मार्केट रिसर्च आई थिंक दे दे आर फोकस्ड सो मच दे आर वेरी मैन्युफैक्चरर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट माय इंडस्ट्री एनी नीलसन और एनी ऑफ दीस दैट आर वेरी मैन्युफैक्चरर फर्स्ट कि अगर उनको फेस पर्सनल केयर देखना है फेस वॉश फेस स्क्रब ये वो मॉइस्चराइजर करके कैटेगरी बना के yeah. उसका रिटेल आउटलेट में जाके सैम्पलिंग करा के दे गिव यू अ गुड सेंस ऑफ बट कंज्यूमर के बाथरूम में कंज्यूमर उस प्रोडक्ट को कब यूज़ कर रहा है वो ओकेजन क्या है वो क्या फील करती है करता है वो कितना लेता हाथ में लेता है या फिर सीधा चेहरे पर लगाता है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन ऑफ द थिंग विद मॉइस्चराइजर इज और अ फेस क्रीम इज वमेन अप्लाइड इन डॉट्स अराउंड द फेस एंड देन स्प्रेड इट Men do this. Men put on the hat <laughs> and they wear it. So the so the inside is that there is no market research to tell you. Yeah. It requires a human being to observe twenty five people yeah. and take diligent notes and do that. And that never comes from an agent. So वो नहीं समझ में आता है. People you can ही, you uh, can understand attitudes, but you can't understand behavior. Big yeah. tip: tomato ketchup. The tomato ketchup. Also, people I think when you put them under the scanner, जैसे आप अगर focus group करते हो, मेरा तो ये problem रहा है market research के साथ कि अगर तुम लोगों को बुला के पूछते हो कि मैं तुम पे मार्केट रिसर्च करूंगा तो कैसी मार्केट रिसर्च वही बोलेगा दैट मेक्स हिम लुक सी गुड गुड इन दैट क्राउड एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू इम्प्रेस ऑल द टाइम राइट पीपल आइदर बिकम आइदर बिकम कंप्लाइंट और कॉन्ट्रेरियन दे आर नेवर ऑनेस्ट दे फॉलो वन ऑफ दीज टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल द टोमेटो कैचअप इंडस्ट्री वेंट थ्रू द रूफ इन इंडिया फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बैक एंड ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ वन रीजन इट्स नॉट बिकॉज आर डाइट्स चेंज और आर टेस्ट चेंज और 
the prices went up or down. It's because Indian consumers don't like to waste. Tomato ketchup in the world was always sold in glass bottles. Or in India, when the glass was finished, the glass was finished. 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 And someone invented the pitchku. The plastic uh, pouch which had the, the yeah, pitchku yeah. thing. You could squeeze the whole thing out. And that's when people were like, cool, now we don't waste it, now we buy it. And that's when Maggie and Kisan and tomato ketchup went up. Because kids love it. Yeah. Noodles ketchup. Yeah, with any other thing. You can disguise it with the food. The insight was that the packaging has to be the insight. Yeah. It was not about the product or the sweetness or the, even the price. Yeah. Or even the distribution. Because Maggie and Kisan were distributed everywhere. But it was the packaging inside. So for me, as an entrepreneur in the consumer space, I have to every time if I come to your house, I will go to your two three bathrooms and see what you are using, where you are using, what you are using. Good, tell me. Where are you using? First, I will clean all the bathrooms. When I come to Lucknow, I am going to go to Lucknow, for example, yeah. for recruitment. I will 100% make a visit to the hostels and see 10 boys' rooms. कि वो टॉयलेटरी के जो खांचे में क्या रखा हुआ है तुम्हारा बाबर शॉप से बाथरूम विस्परर नाम है क्या चीज़ बट ऐसे देख विद 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 हाँ धंधे में शर्म नहीं करनी चाहिए है ना करेंगे नहीं ना बिल्कुल किसी के बाथरूम में घुस जाओ मतलब एंड आई एम तो बाथरूम में घुसना हम तो लाइक व्हेन पीपल कम फॉर इंटरव्यू हम तो गाल को टच करते हैं कि क्या यूज किया आपने व्हेन डू लास्ट शेव व्हेन डू डू दिस भाई तुम 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 थोड़ा केयरफुल रहिए अच्छा बॉब विद कंसेंट विद कंसेंट वी आल्सो आर इन द विमेन स्पेस बाय द वे एंड यू यू विल बी अमेज्ड यू विल बी अमेज्ड हाउ डिफरेंट विमेंस हैबिट्स आर फॉर यंगर कंज्यूमर्स वर्सेस वर्सेस लाइक आई एम 37 माय एज विमेन हेट शेविंग because they feel ki ka- daadi kadak aayegi acha i thought those attitudes would have changed no no they change when they Didn't see they their goal wasn't the evolution from waxing to shaving no no but that's not happened na no. that's not india happened. mein 99 west mein ho na west mein ho gaya because waxing mehanga hai ha india mein nahi hoga waxing sasta hai aur inconvenient bhi hai inconvenient ke liye log paise de rahe hain matlab people are like because okay. there people are busy na to they want convenient shave cut cut karke nikal gaye kaam pe but also western world has blond hair on white skin Or black hair on black skin. Uh, We have black hair on brown skin. Right. So our hair is very visible. For women, they don't. But they like shave. Ah, that's a very interesting uh, point. So they want of, all of it. The shaving will show the roots. So you will be able to see the see very quickly. Right. But two four days, you will see. Correct. Five days, you will see. Correct. Waxing, me, one half month, you will see. So what do what is the preference these days? So women today have a combination of waxing and shaving, but the younger women. But the laser, we do not do. Today, we do not do. Today, we do not do. It's the best hair care, uh, but it's a one one and a half year process. साठ सत्तर हजार की वो पूरी ट्रीटमेंट है काया में जाओ या जहाँ पे जाओ सो इट्स नॉट तो मोस्टली पीपल आर डूइंग वैक्सिंग स्टिल मोस्ट पीपल मेरे को तो सोच के ही दर्द होता है हाँ इट्स 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 मतलब इट्स इट्स बट विमेन लाइक दे नोट इन इंटरवेट एरिया माय डॉटर कीप्स पुटिंग स्टिकर्स एंड डूइंग दिस ट्रीटमेंट सो व्हाट They don't like wait for a waxing. So waxing is periodical, and then shaving you Correct. do. So instead of waxing twelve times a year, yeah, we're now waxing three four times a year, and then maybe before. So a vacation. you guys are making waxing products as well. We we make waxing strips, but Achha. we do all DIY stuff. Okay. घर पे करो. और लेकिन अपने आप करो. And the brand. So one realization for us was we targeted older people because we thought उनके पास पैसे होंगे. But we didn't realize that a twenty eight year old man has been shaving for ten years. Wow. तो उसके हाथ से जेलेट निकालना impossible है. तो अठारह साल के बच्चे को पकड़ो पैसे बाद में आएंगे उसके पास हाँ। लेकिन अबिलिटी टू स्विच और मार्जिनल है लेकिन फील तो आती है The marginal difference between a three and a five will not be high, but if you have thick hair, the five blade is awesome. It's awesome. It's too, especially if you're a daily shaver. Once in a while, करे हो तो three blade is better. So, वही है. I think. But coming back to you, so your thesis are basically, you're saying space, you're saying EVs, you're you're in secured lending. Again, like very good. Yeah. D two C is the other thing, right? D two I don't like the term D two C, but brands. I have written one book for ten or twelve years. It's still relevant on our people group website. 
कि इंडिया इज अ हाईली अंडर ब्रांडेड कंट्री एंड ओवर द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वी विल सी द क्रिएशन ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ब्रांड्स एंड वी वॉन्ट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट स्टोरी एंड यू नो ऑफकोर्स अंटिल नाउ ऐसा लगा एंड यू नो दिस बेटर दैन एनीबडी हेल्थ तो मैं किसको कह रहा हूँ कि वी सीज हैव बिन काइंड ऑफ रिलक्टेंट मार्केट बड़ा नहीं है है न तैन बट ये इतनी जल्दी बदल रहा है और आई थिंक सम ऑफ द वी सीज है फिगर इड आउट नाउ और ये इतनी जल्दी बदलने वाला है दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल बी सरप्राइज बिकॉज द एज सून एज द मिलेनियल्स हैव ऑलरेडी बिकम परचेजर्स बट एज सून एज द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन एल्फा कहते हैं राइट नो जेन जी एंड आफ्टर दैट एल्फा द एस्परेशन दैट आई सी टूडे एंड द प्रीमियमाइजेशन दैट आई एम सी आई गिव यू दन ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स पहले वहीं पर खर्चा होता है क्योंकि वो सबसे बड़ी ऑब्वियस चीज़ है कपड़े करेक्ट any company in fast fashion today online is killing it going from if they know what they are doing and they are good uh, operators Correct. they are going from 0 to 100 crores in 2 years aap kitni nam companies naam le lo i mean unkinat 500 600 700 crore karne wali really yeah, yeah just look at all these companies uh, blue orange i don't know what they not 500 600 but they pretty significant in yeah. terms of snitch ko dekh lo i think he's doing about 3 400 crores amazing right you look at this story and the amazing how tata has done it ek jagah to unka zara ke sath partnership hai lekin saath mein wahi se seek ki unhone apni brand launch kar di na kaun si wali uh west side mein bechte hain wo kya naam hai uska zudio zudio yeah zudio is very 3000 crore yeah. brand zudio is tier 2 retail magical suit tier 1 also tier mein ho raha hai wo sab jagah zudio milne wala hai and it's like 3000 crores it's right. crazy how quickly nobody even knew of zudio zara's reach to 2500 crores yeah. look at starbucks people were saying yaar 500 rupees ki coffee and i so 300 400 rupees ka coffee kon le lega right how they've got 400 outlets they plan to double that in the next 12 18 months crazy right so the aspiration that the youth has and the brands that will be created now on the back of that aspiration Yeah, as you get older, you're like, yeah, you become more value conscious. Yeah. But then you look at Nara, you think you're too smart, <laughs> right? You said, no, no, it's just marketing. Yeah. But when you're young, you just want to be associated with yeah. that. You don't care. Yeah. Uh, so I just think this is going to explode. Uh, so very... although everybody understands that, but I still think uh, uh, people are not uh, backing enough companies. Uh, very companies. interesting insight, right? So when when a country's GDP per capita touches seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. That's when the baking industry goes off. The, the baking industry, bakeries, cookies, biscuits. Right. So that happened to India in two thousand three, two thousand four. That thing went went from glucon, glucose, yeah. and tiger yeah. to now one of the largest biscuits in in D Mart and Reliance is a brand called Malkist. <laughs> have you seen this? <laughs> Crazy good cookies. Yeah. Okay, but you have premiumized Good Day and chocolate chip and. That you and know. now you've gone to luxury baking. हाँ मतलब it's right. crazy that uh. industry has taken off and I think probably catered at almost fifteen to eighteen percent for last twenty years. Yeah. Then when GDP per capita touches two two and a half thousand dollars, there are five industries that go big. And this is like this insight came from a friend of mine at Coke. Travel. No, in consumer. Okay, in consumer space. Okay. Carbonated. Travel drinks. consumer. नहीं बोलो यार. Goods की बात. F M C G की बात करो. Goods की बात. तो carbonated drinks. Uh. Alcohol. Uh. Coffee. Energy. and yoga products wow okay so the first four are basically ki to abhi thoda sa disposable income aa gaya you want to invest in energy so sugar alcohol coffee energy drinks clearly all energy to get and because all of these create stress in your brain you need yoga products to get out these things so then any brand in these four five spaces in consumer should start uh you know kind of seeing the s curve much yeah. better because of when we are Starbucks you talk I think about. India ka lulu lemon banega zarur banega at the rise because India needs to provide the same level of product and aspiration not just product right mm. the aspiration yeah. that that brand is me yeah. at a lower price and I think that can be done here right yeah. you know India has only 3 billion dollar brands in the consumer space right? has has only 3 1 billion dollar brands in the consumer space yes. called mama earth nahi mama earth to is 1500 crore ka hoga acha acha sales ki baat ha 8000 crore valuation nahi nahi sales So surf and book book bond etc are like five thousand crores. Ghadi probably is around the same amount. Coke, sorry, thumbs up, Sprite and Parley are the Parley. only dra- wow. brands that are eight thousand crores. I didn't know. That. And they're they fit in this. They're all catering at twenty twenty five percent man at that baseline. It's crazy. Interesting. 
इट्स क्रेजी सो सो आई थिंक देर इज अ ग्रेट एंड मुझे अगर अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है आई मीन एज आई सेल आई एम स्टिल फिगरिंग आउट आई थिंक आई वुड प्रॉबली इन्वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ माई टाइम इन बिल्डिंग सम क्रेजी कंज्यूमर ब्रांड ऑफ द नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर वेदर आई रन इट डे टू डे माई सेल्फ आई डोंट नो बट आई थिंक दैट विंडोज आप देखो ना यार एट्टी ईयर इज बिकम दिज लाइफ स्पैन तो एंड चेंज इन दास्ट ट्वेंटी डेकेड we are adding a decade of life span yeah. right so i think uh, 100 is not far hona hi hai right this this will happen within this decade correct right and uh, the kind of research i've been doing a lot of work around it that's coming out in this area is remarkable is remarkable so it'll accelerate as all technology does yeah. and as you go into your 40s and even people in the 30s now are looking at longevity <clears throat> supplements and so on treatments But as you go into your forties, uh, and if you're going to live till a hundred, I potentially have you for sixty years. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. And you have money. Yeah, yeah. You have money. You have more money than you have. And you're willing to give a big part of it to live longer, right? Correct. Who doesn't want to live longer? That's amazing. Yeah. So I think that's an area that's uh, that's very very. Uh, so wellness and age, but that's not pain management in a way. Like a lot of lot of blood that being built in pain now. Ha, huh, no, not in pain not management. Pain, but not age. वो वो मेडिकल हो गया थोड़ा सो नॉट द मेडिकल साइड बट मोर इन लुकिंग लिविंग लॉन्गर वाइल लुकिंग बेटर एंड फीलिंग बेटर राइट ओके सो 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 नॉट लाइफ स्पैन सो सो लाइफ स्पैन अलॉन्ग विथ हेल्थ क्वालिटी ऑफ राइट सो आई थिंक दैट्स सर्टनली वन एरिया द वन एरिया दैट एक्साइट्स मी अलॉट बट आई एम वेरी फेयरफुल बिकॉज सो मेनी ब्रांड्स I don't know why, but like a lifestyle brand, clothing, is yeah. everybody say. Yeah. You probably get excited about it. Yeah, I do. But I just think that that space. And is it India? It's an India opportunity. I think it's a global opportunity. Uh, I don't like to think just India. So I think it's a global opportunity mm. uh, because these clothing may say that there's always brands created and there's always brands dying. Okay. Right. right. But it's also a brutal industry. It's really, really tough. so that's the one thing that huge of, market and too disorganized and i usually go straight to the consumer's wardrobe consumer's wardrobe is never loyal yeah. the consumer is loyal but the wardrobe always changes you know like why do people why are there so many brand and shirts and such few brand and trousers because men for example like pretty shirts and three trousers yeah right so to figure out what shirts pe fir kahan pe opportunity mil sakta and the guy will always have like 10 different brands yeah. तो वहाँ पे ब्रांड बनाना बहुत डिफिकल्ट है वहाँ पे रिपीट बहुत बट ओनली क्वेश्चन आई हैव इज दिस व्हाई इज देर ओनली वन जारा इन द वर्ल्ड मेरे को ये बात समझ में नहीं आती अब तक तो लोग समझ गए होंगे ना भाई क्या करता है वो इतना क्या है कौन सी टेक्नोलॉजी इज नॉट टेक कंपनी इट्स अ सप्लाई चेन ऑपरेशन मार्केटिंग टू सम एक्सटेंड रनिंग स्पेंड ऑन एडवर्टाइजिंग टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तो ऐसा क्या है जो कोई नहीं कर पाया है आई डोंट गेट दैट पार्ट <laughs> right that's what troubles me about that right? <laughs> and they're ahead of the curve a little bit they also kind of create narratives very well they when you're that big no you can actually you almost can control the mind of the consumer to know what they're going to want before they want it acha mujhe lagta hai dara ka okay yeah i think so i guess maybe they, they will create probably, fashion they create, they create fashion. culture they, they know the pretty people on instagram will wear something india maybe i'm sure they're sending stuff to the right influencers on time karte honge there's a hack there that they have figured out ki This shopper will want this in May or 2024. Yeah. They probably know it before the the shopper will not know that. I will need this for three months. I will tell them. My opinion. There is no way you can hack it at that scale. Otherwise. And the other big area, I think this guy yeah. is doing a great job. I have huge admiration for him. Whole Truth Foods, which he is doing. Yeah. Which is sort of angular marketing. Yeah. And his very name and the trust he is building in yeah. the brand. Right. I talk to people who consume his brand yeah. all, a lot of times. Yeah. The amount of trust they have in the brand. Every food company. Is going to have to become an honest company in a matter of yeah. it's a matter of time. Correct. The new generation knows how to read labels. Yeah. And the new uh, compliance requirements and so on are just going to get tougher and tougher yeah. and tougher Absolutely. as we become more and more aware. Conscious. And also, what is bad for you? What is good for you? Because you don't know. 
you spoke about Revan, no? The guy, who, yeah. the food farmer guy. Food farmer. Amazing. Amazing what he's doing. Right. So, Vesi, I think he's an early trailblazer, but Vesi, bought many companies in India. And all the incumbent guys, they'll struggle, mm. but eventually they'll have to do the line. I know. So, I think there's, he's the guy, one guy who's doing it correctly. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Baki, there's a lot of companies I see yeah. talking about health food and oh, you know being honest and but they don't have the story together. They, oh, the brand is also and by the way he did a um, what is his company called before and nothing else. Do you was know it? This? I didn't his know company that. was called and nothing else yeah. before it became and he went through this and for food where you have to like change the pack yeah. and and nothing else and the whole two are totally different. Correct. So you Correct. change the brand and like now. Yeah, and nothing else is a little limited. Yeah. Right. But he was 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 he saying that these ingredients are all Which is the whole truth, which is the whole you know, truth. in a yeah. way. But it's it's a lot more uh, yeah. you know yeah. inclusive. It's a great product. Shashank also he's a brilliant marketer. Yeah. yeah, and he's kind of learned his tricks at at Unilever and you know at Faso and so on. So I think it's been. So you're saying basically wellness, fashion, and I think so age. You're saying age, fashion, and wellness through food. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right, man. And younger consumers are. A lot more calorie conscious. They want to know exactly what they're what they're consuming. Oh, yeah, buddy, sorry, buddy, buddy, right? It's the it's the middle one, the fashion one. I'm is something that's. Karo ke aap like do you want to like like say ki fuck all this? I will you know start my own business now. I could. You, but you don't like the day. But that's the thing. I could, but what's I mean exploration phase. I I don't know. I don't. Do you have the lips? Yeah. Karna hai. Karna hai. कोई और करे मेरे को मेरे को सिर्फ ये question answer करना है सबसे पहले. Why is there only one zara? I don't have the answer to that question. Once I have that answer to the question, I'll say that is why therefore nobody else should do it. <laughs> Or the answer, the it'll lead me to say this is why I should do this, it. There's an opportunity to do it. Even if you become a poorer cousin. Yeah. Right. H&M made it, for example. Yeah. Who Japanese? Who made it? Who made it? Uniqlo. Uniqlo. India can't make it. Because there is no manufacturing capability in India. It's made. It's made. It's made. See, with Lululemon, people think it's a huge success story. But Lululemon has gone through almost two bankruptcies. Yeah. Went public, Canadian went private company. again, went public again. Yeah. yeah. So it's not very easy for them also. And Lululemon is not even a fast fashion company. It's very expensive yeah, it's very stuff. Expensive. It's not. Yeah. It's really yoga pants that cost you two hundred dollars. It's not. <laughs> it's good stuff. Man. Yeah. It's good. Once it's, you're the Lululemon totally convert, then you won't wear it. Yeah. It's a totally cool stuff. It's totally cool stuff. And you, you, you were talking a little bit about you know when you talk, spoke to Saisha about how there is. One India, which is very young and just impatient to do more and more, and there's the other which you feel is just kind of burning out. Who is it? Is living off of? Why? Me? I think you are going to get me going to get me into trouble. Mark, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, what I'm seeing, since I'm the kind of guy who says what he feels all the time. Ah, uh, see, yeah, what I'm seeing, right? There's this cohort. Of people or this this segment of people, just say, our producer is Aisha, you are right, who are so driven and who have so much clarity, ah, uh, in their teens, man, yeah. where in their twenties, yeah. just say, you know, uh, Zepto ka founder is Adit. Adit, they are oh, all the uh, insanely cool just, ones. You know, hung out with them the other day and we yeah. had a drink together, but. मतलब इतनी क्ल सो आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग हिम एज अ प्रॉक्सी हाँ अ प्रॉक्सी टू फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ दिस यंगर जेनरेशन जेन जी जेन अल्फा हु आर सो ड्रिवन सो हंगरी एंड सो मच क्लैरिटी फ्रॉम वेरी अर्ली ऑन दैट दे आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वंडर्स राइट मेरे को मुझे कोई डाउट नहीं है दैट दिस नेक्स्ट सेंचुरी बिलोंग्स टू इंडिया बिकॉज The top entrepreneurs in the world will be Indians, mm-hmm. and I say that because you look at our history. Whenever we have been given opportunity, because we've always been constrained, we've always taken that opportunity and become the best in the world at it. All we needed was belief. जब थोड़े बहुत डॉक्टर चले गए बाहर, तो we became the world's best doctors. Because हमने देख लिया अच्छे इसने किया पटेल जी के अंकल ने किया इस शर्मा जी के बेटे ने किया मेरी नर्सन ओके करें. Engineers सारे हम best engineer बन गए दुनिया की सारी companies हमारे engineer चलाते हैं. Correct. सिलिकॉन वैली सी एक्सओज हम वो भी बन गए करेक्ट अभी एफ एम सी जी के भी सी एज बन रहे करेक्ट दो लोगों ने कर लिया इंदिरा नूर ने कर लिया तो भाई स्टारबक्स के भैया ने बोला लक्ष्मी ने कहा मैं क्यों नहीं कर सकता सो सिमिलरली वी आर टेकिंग ओवर मेनी ऑफ दीज फोर्चून फाइव हंड्रेड कंपनीज 
the one area that we not become the biggest star on the top at is entrepreneurship right. wo belief that we can go outside of india and build global companies yeah uh has not yet set in and is just setting in Correct. and i think in the next decade next couple of decades we will see that become a reality and yeah. indian entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs will run the global economy and i think some of this new generation that we spoke about were highly driven highly motivated unko fair nahi wo kare right बट उनके अलावा एक और इंडिया दिख रहा है जहां मुझे थोड़ा डर लगता है राइट और लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज पीपल आर वेरी हैप्पी विथ वेरी मेड योकर अन इवेंटफुल लाइफ स्क्रोलिंग थ्रू सोशल मीडिया ऑल डे वॉचिंग द वर्स्ट कॉन्टेंट दर इज एंड जस्ट अडिक्टेड टू ये बस यही करते हैं राइट और निठल रहे हैं और मैं काफी उनसे बातें होती है काफी लोगों से मतलब लेवल ऑफ अवेयरनेस और आई क्यू इज क्वाइट अलाउ राइट और वो करना भी नहीं चाहते सो आई डोंट नो वेयर दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम मे बी इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड यू कैन ब्लेम देम दे हैव बिन एक्सपोज दे हैव बिन गिवन द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटी Yeah. maybe that's just how the world is it is the exceptions that ultimately build out a nation yeah. and the masses generally this is how it is pata nahi mujhe but that worries me and worries me particularly because hamare yahan evolution humne seedha ye weapon thama diye hai logon ke hath mein yeah. aur kuch idea nahi hum we don't come from a background of media we have had the evolution of radio first tv was movies then blah 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 suddenly in villages logon ke hath mein ye aa gaya Right. और ये मतलब इतना एडिक्टिव है लाइक आई सी माय सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड डॉटर एंड शी वॉच इज यूट्यूब वहां तक ठीक है बट वेन शी पुट्स ऑन यूट्यूब शॉर्ट्स इट इज एंजीनियर टू एडिक्ट यू एंड द कॉन्टेंट इज हॉरबल 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 राइट तो दैट्स द वन पार्ट दैट वरीज मी कि हाउ डू यू मेक दीज पीपल एस्पायर फॉर लिटल मोर देन गेटिंग few more followers and likes on their feed or also i think like you are right i think jo aspiration aap dekhte ho shark tank mein ya for example the entrepreneur who come to you what do you in your offices yeah i'm assuming people who watched you i feel like startups are the best places to create future entrepreneurs because they have seen first hand what happens when a founder builds her or his company and then they are a part of it and then like fuck yaar isme aur mere mein fark nahi hai exactly i also feel for example in equity mein na kya hota hai like small niches of extremely high achieving passionate ambitious people the resources find themselves there and you know they create value and then the rest kind of just rely on it and then inequity builds up and then there's a give up factor that happens especially when the bottom of the funnel is so wide oh sorry bottom of the pyramid is so wide people stop believing ki wo kar paayenge kar paayenge because they're part of so many like i think about for example look at consulting as an organization right when i joined top consulting firm they would hire maybe 30 40 people in a year and of those 8 9 would go on to make partner now they're hiring if you look at the top 3 consulting firm they're hiring almost 400 people so now become like our it was 10 years back wow for some engineer who was recruited in 2013 in infosys yeah becoming the ceo of infosys was not a possibility yeah was not but someone who joined in 2000 possibly it was so that that is what is happening to at a national level also in fact there are so many people at the bottom of the pyramid that believing that they can get there is difficult despite all this you know story yeah mere ko lagta thoda sa aur bhi nuanced hai right as i'm thinking about it when you're speaking right one is these people who have the aspiration and the opportunity mm. like saisha mm. or adit or whoever we're yeah. speaking about and they're going for broke ki kuch banana hai life mein life banayenge kuch bada karenge desh ka naam roshan karenge global thinking karenge then there is these people who have the aspiration mm. but don't have the opportunity okay right let's say the poor economic background lekin bhook hai kahin se right uh, opportunity nahi mil rahi hai lekin hasil maar rahe hain wo bhi kar lenge kar rahe hain wo unke liye shayad jobs hai nahi opportunities hai nahi sare entrepreneur ban nahi payenge correct to kya karenge wo ek problem hai mere ko takleef hoti hai beech walon ki jinko sara aspiration hi nahi hai You think it's a sizable number of people? Because I, 
who are, who are these people who are commenting and liking on your social media <laughs> at any point you post? Who are these 500 million people on two charge social network? Where you go there, you will say 5,000 people in one second, good morning, good night, good evening, all of them, right? Mm. So, these masses of people who are constantly, India is the, uh, in terms of time spent, is the highest amount of time spent, I think, per capita on social media. Correct. So, this is what happens. कौन है ये तो अगर जो हासिल जो कर रहा है वो नहीं है और जो हमारे देश अपॉर्चुनिटी ढूंढ रहा है वो नहीं है तो यही है 3 400 मिलियन पीपल 500 मिलियन पीपल हु हैव नो एस्पिरेशन या इट्स ट्रिकी हो तो ये ये मतलब अगर एस्पिरेशन नहीं होगी तो आप स्किल्स नहीं डेवलप करोगे एंड विद द इंपेंडिंग एआई वेव यू आर नॉट डेवलपिंग स्किल्स you are not aspiring, you have a world transforming, labor killing technology yeah. sitting right there poking fun at you. Yeah, it's going to happen. So, something is going to in the next few years. So, yeah. I think what will happen, and now we are talking about all speculation. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we have a big social uh, program in India. Oh. Uh, Maybe not as big as the West, but eventually universal basic income will come. You have to come. Because what do you do for this mask? And when it comes, we will have to really sit back and think about what to, how to think about society. Yeah. Because the whole, you keep society somewhat on the straight and narrow, if you will, when you keep all its people engaged Indeed. in some worthy pursuit. And purpose. Productive, right? Correct. Nahi toh, idle mind, whatever, right? Yeah. But if you move towards the universal basic income, and now I know we are going beyond the agenda of the show, is how do you then, uh, you know, engage yeah. this large swathe of people uh, who, you know, maybe the Apple Vision Pro, yeah. maybe... So the scrolling is what works. I mean. Maybe I, IPL will happen five times a year. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Maybe all our other leagues will, you know, whatever. Jo hoga, wahi hoga. Right? Alcohol, as you said, yeah. consumption. So all these things will happen. Right? Yeah. Uh, like, but it will raise a lot of societal questions. Like, a lot of things happen. Right? For example, I was serving pharma industry in India 10 years back. And for our sales team, etc. I was serving one of the largest pharma companies. Counterfeit drugs was a huge issue. The 10 to 15% of the antibiotic uh, molecule yeah. was counterfeit. Correct. Counterfeit was selling at half the price or one third the price, sometimes one fifth the price. And I was, I was what, 25, 26 years old. I was like, counterfeit band on a chee, government ke paas jao, unko bolo, counterfeit drugs ja rahe, they're at one, half the efficacy, unke fact, I went to one of the factories also, wahan pe, jo molecule hai, uska powder hai, it's all over the place. There's no way to keep it contained. Wow. It's, the manufacturing is because it's, they have to sell it at one fifth the cost. Yeah. They have to manufacture it at one fifth the cost. Then the CEO of the company told me, the promoter, who's incidentally an investor in Bombay Shivin. Oh. <laughs> What you need to understand is, we need counterfeit drugs in India because otherwise people who need the medicine and can't afford it will not get it. Ooh. And our death rate will become very crazy. What do you mean? If you have counterfeit death rate, it will not be No, counterfeit hai, to at least jo char din mein theek hota hai admi. Achha, counterfeit means weaker. Hai. Haan, it is weaker not hai. like achha, But achha. it doesn't follow the compliance achha, of achha, all the achha, drugs. Achha, achha. Achha. It's important to like, I will, like, if you don't follow, you can't sell. I like, no, the poor man is वो दस दिन में ठीक होगा, लेकिन ठीक तो होगा, ठीक तो होगा ना, उसको दवाई तो मिल रही है ना, चलने दो, दस पंद्रह परसेंट काउंटरफेटिंग फॉर क्रिटिकल मॉलिक्यूल्स, इवन इन अ सच अ प्राइस कंट्रोल एनवायरनमेंट लेकिन इंडिया जो इस इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर सोशल ऑर्डर, आपके ब्लेड्स में तो ऐसा नहीं है, � you're right, man. 50-60 crore people have come basic income and then you have to keep them engaged and mentally fit. And then their lifespan is also going to be 100. Uh. So you, you have to keep them happy, otherwise so society will like struggle. And then these people who are actually building will need consum consumers of a certain predictability and health. So these will be the next big problems I feel in the coming decades. Once we, you know, if Viksit Bharat becomes a reality, by 2047 or whatever, right? The next 50 years of this century 
we'll have to address these problems. Amazing. I'm just going to hope that people, you know, people continue shaving and removing hair from the yeah. body. वो <laughs> वो <laughs> some things should not change. मैं मैं देश के रिश्ते संभालता हूँ आप उनके बाल संभाल. But before we end, I think Anupam, this is a fascinating conversation, and you know, people watching us are typically as aspiring young entrepreneurs people who are working in startups who have just started investing that if you see the comments on the shows on the episodes on the shorts you'll see people just kind of hungry uh-huh. and i believe I'm, whenever i'm at an airport i obviously don't have swathes of people coming but the five people who come i look for the person who said ki maine ye dekhe i left my job and started up or i am now inspired to do something of my own and i feel like after every episode of even one of the half a million people who have watched it Go on to live their dream, which they were not doing before. It's worthwhile. So, for those viewers, uh, if there is one thing that you would kind of leave them with to think about, from a personal express experience standpoint or a perspective of your own, what would that be? One thing is. Because we don't hard. <laughs> <laughs> but deep question, hey, yar. But I think timing. Ko leke. Uh, I think what's a very important message in line with where we, what we just spoke about as well, right? Uh, so I get to sort of preach a little bit. But in the end, I think that while the show is about entrepreneurship to some degree, I think entrepreneurship ki definition thodi badalni chahiye. I don't think that uh, starting your own company should be a worthy goal. Yeah. Worthy pursuit because what does that mean? Yeah. That's a means to an end. I want to have my own company. Yeah. खुद का कुछ करना चाहता हूँ. बहुत लोग मुझे ये बोलते हैं खुद का कुछ करना चाहता हूँ. I said क्यों? Why? Right. <laughs> And you know, please understand. Right. I keep telling people that a lot of the generation now who's working age has only grown up in or so only seen uh, liquid. You know, a lot of capital available, and they haven't seen the tough times that companies are really built in. So it's not as easy as everybody sees the newspapers. Yeah. कि सब जगह लिख रहे हैं इसने हंड्रेड बिलियन रेस कर लिए इतने बिलियन रेस कर लिए फाइव बिलियन डॉलर हंड एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल बट एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द हंड्रेड यूनिकॉन्स इन इंडिया इन माई व्यू विल नॉट बी यूनिकॉन्स फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग राइट मे बी इवन मोर सो डोंट ग्लैमराइज दीज थिंग्स एज मच एंड बी एन आंट्रोपर फॉर द रॉन्ग रीजन वॉट आई वुड से इज फोकस ऑन फिगरिंग आउट how to do meaningful work and build capabilities for the next 10 years whatever those capabilities might be right and if you focus on that there will be a time that you might come across an idea which will not leave you and that's the time to use that capability and your aspiration right and build that company that you want to but building for the sake of building a company I don't think now yeah. is a worthy pursuit. You are better off joining somebody who has a vision that you believe in and learn from right. That. But focus on building capability. Because there is no better time to build than today yeah. in India. Over the next twenty years is the best time to build in India. But building does not mean build something of my own. Yeah. That could be inconsequential, meaningless, and have no impact on you, yeah. your capabilities, or the world. Correct. Building to me means build capabilities that the world can use over the next twenty, thirty years. And if you do that, either you will end up as an entrepreneur who will build something very valuable, or you'll end up in a company where you will do incredibly meaningful work. Okay. And you know, for example, Tim Cook, he's not an entrepreneur, yeah. but he's. One of the guys doing the most meaningful work in the in world, the world today, yeah. right? So uh, keep that in mind. Amazing. I know this has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I always like watch you on on the screen, and uh, we are on a couple of WhatsApp groups where I where your inputs are always super. Like I always wait for. There are some people whose messages I wait for. You are one of them who. Like, <laughs> I'll write more often. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think that you are a very sensible, uh, and uh, I think head screwed on tight despite. glamour despite doing so many amazing things in life tell my so, wife that she thinks i'm crazy <laughs> her judgment might have more data points than mine <laughs> so, most so, likely but uh, you know uh, you, the the impact that you've had i wish you the best in continuing to do Thank that you, as brother. an entrepreneur as an operator investor and now 
as someone who has influencing bharat of tomorrow yeah and um it's been a privilege to talk to you so thank same you same so here man it's been amazing love what you've built and love what you're doing with this podcast bringing so many stories to the youth of india as i said we don't just need opportunity and hustle we need aspiration as well yeah. so you're providing that thanks. hope so thank you so much man thank you so much thanks buddy it's awesome